Good morning from 2024 FFJ European Championship. Still in Deva, Romania. Two minutes to start. We are waiting for the third flight of the seniors fly-off. And now I expect some really crazy low-level stuff. There's barely any wind. Sun is starting to cook nicely. Air has been surprisingly humid for the past few days. So we've seen some pretty nice cloud development in the past days as well. And this is all starting with this early morning thermals. I feel a slight breeze up my face now. Uh, let's see how pilots will read this. Because there isn't much movement here over the camp. So you see some tapes, some flags. All pointing in different directions. This is very interesting. So definitely something happening behind me. So this is going to be fun. Thirty seconds to start. Twenty seconds to start. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Low and slow. And I mean really low. Last few seconds, more power, more speed. Okay, now let's see what happens. I'm not sure this will work out. So it's now zero or hero type of flying. Arian down. Who's next? Second one. Who's next? So the issue with these super low starts is that you have no room for error. You either make it or you don't. There's no in between. Oops, some nervousness there. <laughs> 
There are some shadows passing me. Someone's in the sun. And that won't work out. It's basically in the grass. Done. Who's next? So, looks like everyone else climbed out nicely, at least here in the sun. And a few planes over the cor corridor and then four more over the camp. And looks like they're all in good air. So it's not yet the proper air to start to 5 meters, but maybe 30 meters, that works out. This guy now decided to move over to the camp. Apparently the corridor is not good enough anymore. Can he make it here? I hope he doesn't end up in the camper vans and tents. So far at least he'll get time. Okay, who's next? So the other guy that was out over the field also now moved in over the camp. Ten minutes remaining. Looks like all this metal piled up here is heating up nicely. Yep, he also caught this thermal and he'll work it up. <coughs> Two, four, five planes there. So where are the other ones? There's two, four, five planes almost in the sun behind me. And they're also in very good air, about the same height as these guys here. So we now have two groups apparently riding two separate thermals. And there's a a raven flying by. So this area has an interesting historical relationship with ravens. So just, what, 15 kilometers south from here is Hunedoara, which is a place of the, what most people call the most beautiful Gothic castle in Europe. Uh, this was a seat of Matthias Corvin, ruler of Hungary in like 15th, 16th century thereabout. And his family legend is tied to a, a raven stealing a golden ring. 
And the guy is apparently such a hot shot that even in Slovenia we have legends about him. Still everywhere you look around here there's history under every stone you turn going back to Roman times. So this part of Balkan was always a crossroad of cultures and nations and whatnot. People coming from the east, from the south, from the west. And it's a, let's say, a proper melting pot before that phrase was even invented. Nothing much to show you now, just need to wait five more minutes to for people to come back down to land. So maybe let's check what the pilots are doing. How are they flying? We'll have a few of the empty spots located by the pilots that landed already. So the planes are now nicely spread out and all nice and high. So who's now the lowest one? Probably. This guy. He's still plenty high enough for the remaining four minutes or so, or no, three and a half. So now let's just hope nothing stupid happens. We had fun with reflies yesterday. Not sure if you want to repeat that today.
two minutes remaining. Pilots are now starting to come back again. Just overhead me. It's hard to follow them at this angle. I think this is Primoz, he's returning upwind, of course, in a empty sky. So he is at the last point. He needs to fly all the way around. One minute remaining. No, it's not pretty much. Some other retail plane. 30 seconds remaining. Twenty seconds remaining. Now suddenly there are two planes. Ten second, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Landing over the corridor, okay, interesting choice. But looks like it all ended up safely. This is what matters. Fourth and hopefully last flight for seniors. If nothing bad happens. Also, last flight on this European Championship. One minute to start. Once we are done with this one, Championship is over. Conditions are still the same, barely any wind, just slight thermal breeze every now and then. So I expect again some interesting low level action. Twenty seconds to start. Ten second, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Low and slow, almost to the ground. That's very cool. So, now some pilots can really risk it. Some energy in the last few seconds. I don't think that's enough.
There's another group rather low here. Or at least one plane is very low. Patiently working in the air that they have. They will both make it, I guess. Yep, there's now a breeze. I feel it in my left side of my back and so at least Arya started to go up like crazy. So this is how modern F5J in good weather looks like. So the other plane is still a bit struggling, so didn't really gain much, but slowly, slowly and patiently. So, but of course everybody else is already at 200 plus meters. And it's not even five minutes in. Of course, everyone will make this flight easily, now that these two guys will make quite a difference in scoring due to their very low start heights. It will be interesting to see how the others will score compared to them. But I don't think differences will be high enough to offset the differences that were done yesterday. Okay, so the white plane is now exploring the field a bit. He wasn't happy with where he was, but he has enough height to look around a bit. And looks like he's happy with what he got there or not. No, didn't look all that good, but maybe this looks better. Also no, oh, now he's in a sink, but there's again a gust of wind to my back, so something must be happening somewhere here. So the initial thermal that Arian found was more to the north, but if he doesn't find something quick, Huh? Ah, not enough. Hmm. 
and it looks tough again. I think he'll just land there. Yep. Didn't work out as planned. Can I see anyone else? Just tiny spots. And there's at least one bird with them. No, two birds actually. It's always, always nice to see. But... Let's see if I can focus on anyone in particular. After landing, can uh, arrange the results? Please hold competitors with models which was in the air. Come to the protecting near the wings up. So this is now maximum zoom. These guys are really, really far away. They're also the lowest ones. I need six more minutes of flying to do. Let's check the pilots again instead. remaining all of them looking up so I'm not sure what to show you now for the remaining four minutes or so Let's pick that guy there.
Two minutes remaining. Okay, now I expect to hear some whistling noises. Maybe someone will do some acro flying to celebrate or something. getting closer to me one minute remaining seconds remaining. Twenty seconds remaining. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice. Nice. Well done. Now let's wait for the results. <laughs>